In retrofitting, clear lens swaps are pretty popular because they not only enhance the light output from the projector by making it brighter, but they also enhance the aesthetics of it by making the cutoff line sharper and a little bit more colorful. So today we're gonna go over uh, you know, the information behind clear lens swaps, different clear lenses available, compatibility, and the uh, techniques to get them set up just right on your projectors. Now the first part of any clear lens swap is actually picking out a clear lens that is compatible with the projectors that you're gonna be using in your retrofit. Um, in most cases, you really only have to do this for OEM projectors because most aftermarket projectors actually come with a clear lens from the factory. In this case, we're using a Nissan Murano by Xenon, which takes the STIR clear lens. Uh, it's a three inch clear lens, um, but that's no, really not the end of the story because there's other three inch lenses like Mazda 3, ZKWR, for example. Um, so those will all fit, but the other thing to consider beyond that is the focus height of the lens, which is the depth of the lens from the, the front to the flat side on the back. And that's really important because if you don't have the right focus height, you're never gonna be able to get a sharp and colorful beam pattern out of the projector. So when choosing a clear lens, it's important to get one that is not only the right diameter, but is the right focus height. Um, in this case, it's the STIR, um, which is a 27 millimeter focus. Uh, and the reason why is basically because the original equipment lens from the Murano is also a three inch with a 27 millimeter focus. So, you know, again, first thing to do is just make sure that you get the right clear lens, uh, because no matter how much spacing you do after that, if you have the wrong lens, you're never gonna be able to get the light output right. Okay. When setting up the clear lens, there's three main parts of the projector that you're going to want to consider. The first thing is the capsule of the bulb, which is basically the light emitting element in the bulb and its position inside of the reflector bowl. Uh, the second part is the actual cutoff shield of the projector, which is the shield inside that makes the beam pattern. And then the third thing is of course the lens itself. And the spacing between these three elements is pretty, is pretty crucial you know, in getting the right beam pattern. So you know, because of the high tolerances and the sensitivity of the optics inside of projectors, you can really space out clear lenses in a variety of ways and uh, you know, adjust the light output so you get a little bit more color, less sharpness, a little bit more sharpness and less color, or you know, pretty much right in between to make you happy. So it's kind of personal preference once you get that all, all together, but uh, you know, setting it up, you know, there's a variety of things that you can space or adjust to arrive at that point. In this case, we don't have to do any spacing at all in the cutoff shield, the reflector bowl, or any spacing on the bulb. Uh, we're really gonna do all of our spacing on the front with the lens cradle. So we're gonna use the spacer that just comes standard with the SDIR clearing lenses to give it a little bit of a uh, push forward. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of demonstrate on a wall how the light output looks with no spacer, with the spacer installed, and with too much spacing so you can see how the output changes. Uh, you know, really we're only going to be adjusting the lens forward or backwards by maybe one to two millimeters at most, uh, but you'll see it makes a huge difference on the wall. So, you know, to do this, you can use either the stock spacer that comes with the clear lenses. Uh, we also offer these paper spacers here, which are really great for clear lens swaps uh, because they allow you very fine adjustments to be made on the clear lens, uh, you know, and that way you can set up the light output just the way that you like it.